Debbie's Mindless Happy Place here, and today we're going to be doing some candlestick birdhouse decor for your home for spring, and I think they turned out really cute, and so I'm super excited to show them to you. Um, if you enjoy the content of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. Let's get to the video. We're going to start with these three candlesticks that I had left over from another project. They were only approximately $1.50 a piece, and I think sometimes you can find them at the Dollar Tree. I then used these birdhouses that I did get at the Dollar Tree. They are all really super cute, and um, they are wooden, so they work out really great for this craft. So first I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint, and I'm going to paint my candlesticks this white Waverly chalk paint. and so. I put three coats of paint on my candlesticks um, just to make sure that they were fully covered and so you can see that I'm just about finished with the first coat on that candlestick and then once I finish my candlesticks I use this way this um, acrylic paint to paint my birdhouses and I picked out um, six colors I painted the birdhouses a darker color and then the tops of the birdhouses a lighter color so I picked out six different colors purple so uh, blue and pink so this is me painting my pink birdhouse I'm covering it with paint and I only had to use one coat on the birdhouses so now I'm painting the second birdhouse purple and making sure to cover it all except for the tops of the birdhouses and then the third birdhouse I painted this light blue color I think all the colors look really springy next I used a different color and I decided to use the white on the blue uh, birdhouse because I didn't like the other blue color I had then I painted a light pink on the pink birdhouse and after that, I painted purp a light purple on the purple birdhouse just to give the birdhouses a little bit of definition um, in the color so that they weren't all painted just one color. I was going to try to do the bases and everything, but it got too complicated. So next, I take my hot glue gun and I put hot glue around the tops of the candlesticks. And once I get the hot glue on there, I just put the birdhouse on top. And I'm sure some of you guys would eye it up better than I did, but I just kind of eyed up the center and stuck it down. So I stuck all my birdhouses on top of my candlesticks. And if you wanted to, you could stop your project right there. But of course, I added some um, greenery and some um, decor to um, just make them look a little bit more finished after I get done with this step. So there's my pink birdhouse going on top of my pink and then I use these cute little garlands that I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar a piece so they worked out really well and what I did is I just played with them for a while and I just ended up wrapping them around my birdhouse um, kind of up to the birdhouse and then back down and finished them out that way and just played with them until I had them exactly where I wanted on the face of the candlesticks. So that's how I did that. Then once I finished that, I used these um, little greenery things that look like cotton at the top and I glued three of them. Um, I cut them up each one and used just three little branches to again give it a little bit more definition for my um, spring decorating around my house. So I put three on each one. That way it looks like the birdhouse is up in the tree. And I think they turned out really cute. I'm really excited about how they turned out. So here you can see how all three of them turned out. And they're very colorful for spring and they have lots of spring colors. So I really, really like them. And then in a second, we're going to see where I ended up putting them. I put them on top of this basket that I have in my living room. And so they are super cute and I think they really turned out cute. So until next time, always remember, 
find your happy place.